easy breezy beautiful bad bitch hey welcome back or welcome i am Brittany, and this is the Brittany chomp rawlies it is finally spring it is finally spring i have suffered i suffered through winter i suffered through capricorn season i suffered through aquarius season i suffered through pisces season and now it is airy season, which, ooh. but the suffering is over. And to celebrate the end of my suffering, we have a wish list. I typically do these every year. Typically a spring, summer, fall, winter, yada, 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 you get it. Now, earlier this year, we had a no buy list. Did you watch that video? If you didn't, watch it. So I feel like I've placed limitations on myself that I see reflected in the things that I'm wishing, wanting, craving, and coveting. So I'm actually feeling really optimistic and excited to see how I integrate new things whilst also adhering to the boundaries that I set up for myself. Because I'm a fashion girl, so I want the things. But I'm also a conscious girl, so I wanna consume responsibly, but this is something that is my job so i need to also be a source of inspiration right so how do we do that i don't know child we're gonna see because i feel like i went in to like e-shopping like online window shopping i went in like oh i don't want nothing these girls don't have anything and now i think i have like over 30 items here to share with y'all all of which of course i'm not going to get we we see a theme Typically, I have a wish list, and maybe within the month, I have a haul video. But before we get into it, if you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the party, babes. I'm Brittany. I make videos about fashion, beauty, a little bit of lifestyle, a little bit of travel. So if you like those things, head down there and subscribe. Hit that like button, too. Welcome to the party. Refreshments are in the bag, baby. Have a seat. Enjoy. And without any further anything let's get into the things that i'm craving how many years have i been saying i'm a trouser girl or i want to be a trouser girl how many years sisters like three maybe even before youtube i wanted to be a trouser girl and now what is in what is on trend right now trousers they're everywhere so i'm going to use the fact that this is trending as a result of quiet luxury to, you know, maybe stock up on some trousers. I don't know, it depends on the quality because that's also kind of an ongoing personal trend of mine is trading out the bullshit in my closet for items of quality, for items that are at least 70% natural fiber. But that is a very, very, very difficult thing for the plus size body. And I think I'm gonna make a video on that soon-ish. Anywho, the quest led me to an unlikely place, somewhere that we don't go to too much on this here channel, and that is Torrid. Now girls, girls, I know what you're saying, Brittany, you never shop at Torrid. No, no, not really. But ever since I got those pink sparkly boots, my sisters, you know those boots, I love those boots. I said to myself, this here store may have oversized Disney t-shirts, and too many peplums for my taste and studs and stones and, and ruffles and zippers all on one garment. But amongst all of that, they have some gems. So let's keep an eye on them every now and then. So during the curation of my wish list, I stopped by toilet. And one of the first thing I saw were these here pants. They're cute, nothing too crazy, very relaxed. And oh, sisters, for the first time ever, we have a theme. We have a theme going in. And the theme is, is yacht shit. That's, that's the theme, yacht shit. And the reason that is the theme is because what I'm looking to curate in regards to my wardrobe this spring, summer specifically, is a sense of ease. And I did some of that last summer and the summer before but this year I'm truly clocking in to that sense of ease. Relaxed fabrics, 
nothing too tight, nothing too fussy. Minimal print, which I, <clears throat> I don't know. We're gonna circle back to this conversation maybe during a vlog, but really easy throw on pieces, simple. And honestly, this, this is not a result of quiet luxury because I've been talking about this for a while, but it definitely fits within the quiet luxury wheelhouse. But I don't like the quiet luxury, old money. I don't like that. It makes me itch because it relates to something that I'm just not interested in. But anywho, these pants are very easy. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. Me, myself, I would wear these this summer with like a tube top, and some mules and like a bucket bag and like a scarf because that's my look, that's my look. Another pant, wide leg this time. Love these equally as much and they they give off for the same vibe. Easy breezy, beautiful bad bitch. Now these sandals shocked me. They shocked me because they are a really good Hermes Chipra. Dude, Chipra, Chipra, Chipra. I don't know how to pronounce them, Chipra. I'm pretty sure it's cheap, but they're such a good dude. And babe, I'm getting them, consider them gotten. And also these, I don't know if I want these because I have my eye on a pair of JW Anderson shoes that are similar to these, like sandals, but these are very like Jill Sonder coated. And what I'm saying to you, and I've said this to you so many times in so many like of my trend videos, Trends are not the end all be all, and trends don't necessarily mean that things are new. Trends mean that those things that are trending are going to be more readily available. So if you are a person who always wore red, and you're like, red is trending, but I always wore red, yeah. But now you're going to be able to find red everywhere. Whereas typically it's only easy to find red during the holiday season, yeah. And tour we're going straight to good american mm -hmm. now i have three garments from good american a t-shirt that's from the good american zara collab a pair of denim from the zara good american collab and then a pair of my favorite 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 skinny jeans ever the good american good waist jeans that fit like a a size range. So those pants were so good, but they made me a little curious. I've been checking on the girls, seeing what they have. And then I saw an ad for these scuba trousers and I said, wow, these are fantastic. I kind of want these. And I came to the site and they were sold out. But then I saw these. These are similar to the first pair, except they're a little bit more streamlined. I really like them. Uh, now, I've only ever tried denim from Good American, so I don't know what those girls get, but I, I really like those trousers. On my no-buy list, one of the first things on the list was denim. I said, no jeans, Brittany. But for every no-buy, I had an exception, and the exception there was a pair of lighter wash, because I have the Good American Good Waist Fits Everybody, whatever they're called, denim and a, a, a faded black wash. And that's cute, that's cute and all, but I love a blue jean. I love a medium wash blue jean. Here we have a medium wash blue jean, the good waist. So we may be implementing that exception, my sisters, I have to say, it. we may just be. And then they have the palazzo. They have the palazzo. I'm, I'm not doing well. I will say I'm curious about these jeans because as I said before, the pair that I have, their size range, they fit everyone from a size 20 to a size 26, right? Right now I'm teetering between a 24 and a 26. I hope to get down to a 22 and we'll see what they get. For these two pair that I just shared, they are not the size range, so you would have to get your size, and I'm honestly not sure what size that I would get, because when I shopped the jeans via Zara, I think I got a 24, I think, but it was like sizes 
zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not like that. So I I don't I don't understand their sizing system to be honest. But as soon as I figure it out, of course I'm gonna share it with y'all sisters. American Apparel has been obsolete for many years now, but the disco legging lived with me. She resides permanently in my medulla oblongata. I don't know if that's the part of the brain that holds the memories, I'm not sure, but she's here, she's here. And every time that I've come across something that mimics them, I have handed over my bank card. I don't think that this time will be the exception. Now, I'm scared though, because Skims did have a pair and I did go to try that pair on in Nordstrom and that pair in a size 4X did not go past the middle of my thigh. And, you know, it, I don't think it would be strange to assume that Skims and Good American are in the same facility, that they're using a lot of the same patterns. There's a lot of similarities within the two, honestly. So I don't know, but um, these are kind of perfect and I'm willing to gamble because I really love that silhouette, that high-waisted, sandy and grease silhouette, just easy, sexy, classic, timeless. These with a white tank top and a little mule, hello. I'm purging my closet and I just got rid of a pair of pinstripe pants that are too big. However, and I have a pinstripe pair of pants that are ill-fitted. So I believe that that leaves more than enough space for me to get rid of both of them and get these because how perfect are these pants? How perfect are these pants? And then Good American, I don't have issues with their waistline fitting me. I don't have issues with back gaps. So this makes a lot a lot of sense and the vest eats too i'm loving the suiting trend that's happening via quiet luxury i'm loving the vests i found a random vest from asos like three years ago and i'm obsessed with it i'll insert a picture and i'm so happy to see vests everywhere now because they're trending so i may pick up one or maybe two more I, you know, not too much because I have a habit of doing too much, but I may pick up a, a lighter color vest because the one that I have, as you see, is black. Swimwear. My sisters, of course, it's we're within the vacation season for me. I have a little trip planned for next month. Nothing tropical, but the following month, I will be in the tropics. Well, yes, I need more swimwear. I'm in the middle of a huge closet purge, like more aggressive than ever before. So I'm getting rid of a lot and included in a lot is my older swimwear. I need better quality swimwear. I need replacements now. This orange monokini, love it. What I'm loving the most about Skims and Good American specifically, and I know a lot of people want to avoid those places and I get it. The Kardashians are not favorable people to many, including myself. Like I don't, I won't pick them up or put them down, but I'm not going to deny the inclusivity of their fashions. I appreciate seeing a swimsuit like this in my size because when more, more plus exclusive brands do it, they do it in a way that's just not sexy enough to me. They do it in that high, high waisted, big granny panty type way. And I'm, I just don't like it. I just don't like it. So I can appreciate Good American for having this swimsuit from like a double zero up to like a four or five X. I could appreciate that with no changes to the core value of the swimsuit. Like of course, as it gets bigger, there may be a slight restructuring in the top for a heavier bust potentially, but for the most part, the style is consistent throughout all the sizes. And I appreciate that because just because I'm buying a three or four X, it doesn't mean that I want to necessarily hide my stomach. So I'm happy to have this option. I feel like 
if an LL Queen is going to do a swimsuit, they're going to do a very high-waisted swimsuit. Nothing sexy and high-cut, just high-waisted as, as if every fat person is concerned about hiding their stomach or their apron belly or their fupa or whatever you have going on. Some people do want to hide it, but some people, myself, couldn't care less. So, baby, give me the high cut. Give me the sexy. It does wonders for my body, and I love it. So, I'm very happy about this. And this is the reason that I'm choosing to shop with Skims and with Good American. Not because I'm a fan of those girls, but because where else am I getting it from? Quickly. And I'll talk more about that because I am... I mentioned it before, but I'm working on an inclusivity video, y'all. It's taken me a while because I've never done like a video essay before. And I don't really know if it is a video essay or if it's just me spitting out a lot of information. I just want it to be structured. I want it to be well structured. And then the leopard print bikini, of course, eat. I have a leopard print one piece. I'll insert a picture from forever 21 the titty support it just doesn't exist in that swimsuit so she's been needing to get out of my wardrobe she been needed to get out of here she been needed to scream and this is what i'm going to replace her with absolutely speaking of swimwear i moseyed on over to nordstrom and i was browsing you know perusing the pages of plus size and i came across this villa fresca this is Gabby, Gabby Greggs or Gabby Fresh's swim and resort wear line. I saw that she launched it. And of course, this is the piece that I want because it is the sexiest. There is like a purple one piece with cutouts that I want, but it's strapless. And I just don't want to play the titty games with that. So the bikini it is. This is so cute. It's so cute, the little beads, the little detail. I love that. And this is what I have been wanting all along. Now, I am torn because the Good American is orange and this is orange. The Good American has other color options, but I really like that orange. So we're going to have to, you know, make some decisions. I also have an orange Ivy Park swimsuit. So, yeah. I wish this Villa Fresca was teal. Like how bad would this eat in like a teal or like a deep green, like Malachite type color? Wow, wow, wow. Also, of course, Nordstrom sells Eloquy pieces. I saw these trousers. I've been seeing these trousers on Eloquy's site. And the only thing that's stopping me is the lack of usable reviews and I think the inseam. But they're kind of cute, right? I kind of I kind of like them. This navy with a black tank. Absolutely. And like a a flat sliding sandal. Think of Oran, but not an Oran because that's not my brand. With a sleek ponytail, that's also not my brand. But it could be this summer. I don't know. Then there's also this black pair, which I think sold out on Eloquy a while ago. These are fantastic. I might just have to nab these. Eloquy. Speaking of those girls, I meandered over to their site. They haven't done anything to excite me lately. A lot of people have been blaming it on their full beauty acquisition. However, I don't think that that's it. I think that everything on their site is understated and quiet luxury right now because that is literally the trend and it is literally everywhere. I think that when some of those things are placed on a bigger body, they can look a little dowdy. They can look a little shapeless and boring, which is very triggering because it takes us back to like Catherine's catalogs. I don't know. But when when you look at Eloquy and you compare Eloquy to what's happening at H&M, to what's happening at Zara, to what's happening everywhere except for the bad bitch sites like Pretty Little Thing and Boohoo and Fashion Nova. Like, it's all there. The, the quiet luxury, she's clocked in. And that's what Eloquy has. These two items that I'm gonna show y'all are a result of that. I just so happen to like them. One, this 
vest, this long line vest. It, it's it's a it's a, a call to that brand that's new to me that I've been seeing lately. A line, a lean. It's it's a dupe. It's it's a it's a good one too. I kind of want this. I kind of only see myself wearing it three ways with a wide leg black trouser, with a midi satin skirt, and with a pair of jeans. It, it's not a, a huge versatile piece. I mean, I, you can layer under it. I can layer a black turtleneck under it, or it's kind of like off white. I can layer a white turtleneck under it, but it doesn't challenge the wardrobe most but then again quiet luxury doesn't challenge the wardrobe much so the other piece is this little black tank with the button detail i think this is hella cute again the same thing goes with styling the looks i would love to wear this with like a black leather pant i have my black not black brown leather pants i have my brown leather pants from Eloquy and I think that this would look fabulous with that, with the matching jacket. I'm tempted, I'm tempted. These are non-offensive, they're not too special and because they are so understated in style, you can have them for years and they'll look relevant every single year and that's the whole point of this Wealth Whispers trend. ASOS. ASOS, ASOS, ASOS. They haven't done much for me lately, but because I was shopping, I stopped by. And one of the first things that I saw was this black Oxford top. It's cute. I don't have a black poplin. Y'all know I love a poplin. I don't have a black one. So I like the oversized nature of it. Y'all know Capri's are coming back. And I think this would look really cute with a like legging Capri and a black mule of course or even like a pair of slingbacks if you really want to commit to like that leisurely 50s housewife aesthetic with a little bandana in the hair that's a look these trousers caught my eye i'm not gonna lie i like the color i like the relaxed nature of it again yacht shit trousers tank top fun designer bag fun colorful intricate jewelry from your travels, right? Because we're travel. Everything is in the accessories. Maybe a little baseball cap to shield you from the sun. Some chic leather sandals. Hmm? I've been seeing a lot of red dolls on my timeline lately. There was this whole thing about them losing all of their stock, so yada 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 they've just been there right i've shopped red dolls before i typically go to them for like very specific stuff they're not my go-to but if i'm looking for a specific type of pink dress for columbia i can find it if i'm looking for i don't know i just go there for specific stuff however i went today you know just to see what they have going on i know they recently had a resort collection that i enjoyed some pieces from none of the resort pieces are in this wish list by the way but i just wanted to mention it because it's kind of cute this sheer little caramel colored number do i need it no i have enough naked dresses i shouldn't be ex shopping exclusively for vacation stuff i don't love love the cow neck but I think it's kind of cute. And I really like the color, this caramely color. I also like the length. Lately, I've been into the length of stuff because like I said, brands will skimp on length when it comes to dresses, but then they'll send you some pants that you can walk all over. I don't get it, but I like this length here. She's 5'8 and she's wearing heels. So if I'm 5'9 and I'm wearing a, a sandal, a flat sandal, I think it would be fabulous. H&M. I like the ease of this cardigan. It makes me feel like I'm going to Cuba. Like I'll have on a, a, a linen pant and a little fedora. And maybe I'll smoke a cigar. That's what this top gives me. I really like it. I've been seeing these types of garments within Zara's men's because I do go to the men's side when I go to Zara. 
and I've been wanting something like this of my own. So I may just have to get this, but I may get it in like a, a XL so that it's a little shrunken, you know, do the whole little two button thing and let the bottom and the top just go free. I think it's kind of cute. Mm. Even I can wear these with my favorite white linen pants from Eloquii. Yeah. Or if I had like a brown trouser, because I told y'all I'm very, very, very into brown and black right now. That would look beautiful. Again, H&M has so many like understated pieces, like Elevated Basics, as my girly to Tashira over at Politics and Fashion likes to say. This is that. It's a tank top. It's a tank top, but it's a special tank top. And this is a good tank top to wear with your quiet luxury basics, your linen trousers, or your satin mini skirt, or your boot cut jeans. I don't know, but this is great. It's economically priced. It will be in my closet. And then last from H&M is this ribbed top, sheer, perfect. This reminds me of something that Rachel Bilson would have worn and She's All That with like a tank top layered over it or under it and like a skirt and some chunky flat form black sandals. This is something that Sarah Michelle Gellar would have worn in black or brown or burgundy and Buffy the Vampire Slayer with some leather pants. Like, I really like this. The sizing, I don't quite understand. Like, does it only come in an extra small, small and medium? I'm gonna have to look for this in the store so I can better understand what's going on here. I never shop Zara online, never, ever, ever. However, typically the bulk of these lists, they, they're they Eloquy, it's true. You know, y'all know Eloquy, she's my girl, the girl I love to hate. But like I said, this year Eloquy just isn't doing it for me. So I was left to go other places and that includes places like Torrid and Zara, somewhere I exclusively shop in store. These sandals, fire, love them. I love a leopard print, anything, give them to me immediately. Where's my pocketbook? There's a brand that I can't think of right now, but I'll put a little screenshot on the screen. I wanna say like uniform, no, that's wrong. I don't know, I'm not gonna guess. They have a maxi leopard print dress that so many of my skinny girlitas have been wearing. And I dream of that dress, kind of like I dream of the leopard print rat and boa slip dress, maxi length, that I would, I would just do so many things for that dress. It doesn't exist for me. But this, as Zara does, it's not, it's maxi, but I'm tall. It wouldn't be that maxi on me. It's kind of sheer. It's a good leopard print because you know you have to be very specific with leopard print. Nobody likes the, the light skin leopard print. It, it looks cheap every time. This one is a decent one. I like it. And I'm also very into tube dresses. Ever since I got my Skims Fits Everybody tube dress and I wore it in Miami and I've styled it as like a skirt, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I've been like into like two dresses. So we're gonna see a lot of that this summer. Yeah. Another two dress. The texture here, fabulous. Love it so, I love this so much. I would immediately take this lining out. Immediately, because now I'm adding versatility to the dress. Because I can wear it over a swimsuit. And then if I want it lined, I can just put my own black two dress underneath it and boom, we got a two in one situation. I love Zara's accessories a lot. I've slowed down on their clothes drastically. And whenever I'm in store, and I haven't been in store this year, I'm gonna change that real soon though. I go for the accessories, these rings, love it. This hat, love it. This chain belt, how cool is this chain belt? Need it. These bangles, want them. And because we're talking about accessories, if the theme is yacht shit, what do we need for a yacht, babies? Glasses, good glasses. I've been recommended these Elisa Johnson glasses 511 times via Instagram, and I want them. I'm kind of torn between the different shade colors, but I've been looking for an indoor-outdoor shade. 
in a warmer color. Well, I have like my pink Gucci's that I love so much. I need something that's a little bit more brownie. These are perfect. How perfect. Also, since I'm mentioning glasses, I need these Celine Triumph glasses. I need the price to go down. X, I need them on sale. I need them on sale. I found these Gucci Shield glasses on sale. Consider them mine. They look so good on me, I think. I think they look so good. These on a little vacation, absolutely yes. And then these Gucci cat eyes. I need a, a new everyday glasses. My typical everyday glasses are my Burberry. I don't even know the name of them, but the ones with the B. Yeah, those. Those are very black, very dark. I need something a little less serious, a little more playful, a little more vintage look. I love a good pair of cat eye glasses. And then the last stop on this train, and it was the last stop because I was on accessories. And then I thought about something that made me go to the site and I said, let's see what they have. It's made well. What do you need for your yacht activities? A pair of linen pants, babe. These are 100% linen. And this is the type of carrying on that I like to do because I want natural fibers. I can't stress it enough. I need, I'm tired of polyester. I'm so tired. I need natural fibers. They last longer. They look better. Does linen wrinkle? Sure, but we're on a boat. We're carefree. Who cares? Blech. These are cute. I like them. And then I also like these trousers, but in the purple color. Who is that? I also like these trousers, but in the purple color because I am what a fun girl. And that is it for this video. This was a lot of shit. It was a lot, but we were on theme. There was a very clear theme. For the most part, I just want to be casual and comfortable. And I, the reason that these things were so basic is because I've spent years curating the stuff, the <gasps> garments, the, the French dresses and French pants and so many sequins. There's so many sequins here. The metallics, the bright colors, the prints. I don't feel like I need any of that anymore unless suddenly Emilio Pucci makes things that I can fit. Like, I don't know. I now am focused on getting better basics and getting more accessories. Are y'all shopping this year? And if so, what are you shopping for? Are y'all shopping y'all's closet this year? And if so, what are you pulling out and dusting off that was in the back corner? Hmm? And that's it, y'all. If you like this video, like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And comment down below what your favorite item was from this wish list. Follow me on Instagram at Born and Sequence if you're not following me already. And of course, follow me over on TikTok, girl, while we got it, at Brittany Inc. And as usual, my girly pops, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.